in Madrid during this newscast a second ago saying how they're doing in Madrid. She's a professor, so that's affecting them a lot. It's pretty severe over there right now. Yeah, and we're dealing with uh, smoke over here. Yeah. There's a lot going on all over the planet. Uh, we've got uh, fires up there in Canada and that smoke plume coming right down to southern New England. Take a look at this sharp contrast in picture. Now, New Bedford, a couple of hours ago, kind of looked like what it does in East Providence right now with a thickest part of this plume of smoke is working right over Rhode Island right now and our skies will probably go back to that blue as we head into the afternoon. But look at that sharp contrast in uh, the sky cover. Newport still some hazy skies out here. We have a little bit of sunshine. We're seeing some improvements I think in Newport already. Here's the visible satellite picture. We turned to black and white because it makes it a little easier to see this plume of smoke and it's right in here working across Rhode Island. It it's past New Bedford now. That's why they've got the blue sky. And we're looking at more in the way of blue sky as we go through the afternoon. Southeasterly winds are going to be pushing that plume northward. But that fire is going to be raging for a while more. And the uh, forecast is for all that smoke to blow eastward out across the open Atlantic Ocean as we head into the uh, daytime tomorrow and into Thursday. I think we're going to kind of lose the smoke, at least in our skies, for a while. But the smell of smoke down near the Earth's surface probably probably will be with us into the evening hours. So good idea, uh, shut your windows and stay indoors if you have a respiratory disease such as asthma. Our threat tracker for today, we are looking at that smoke around Wednesday, Thursday, should be a little bit quieter. Temperatures are in the low to mid 60s, 63 in Providence, Coventry 63, Newport 62 over in New Bedford in the 60s. As far as the clouds go, really quiet across the Northeast, still tracking those showers off to our South. They'll be staying away. High pressure is actually allowing that smoke to work its way into southern New England and it'll actually help to blow it out of here as well as we go through the afternoon. So we're looking at sunshine, hazy sunshine as we head through the rest of the afternoon. It's thick smoke out there now. It will kind of get pushed away from us and the sky should become more blue. This is 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. Notice a little touch of fog across parts of southeast New England, especially around the coast and around the bay and taking you into your Wednesday afternoon sunshine looking quiet into Wednesday evening. So we've got that hazy sunshine for you this afternoon. I'm thinking temperatures topping out in the upper 60s. Winds turning more southeast, 5, maybe up to 15 miles an hour for tonight. Uh, down to about 48 degrees with mainly clear skies and a light southerly wind. Here's your seven day forecast. Wednesday, we're looking at milder temperatures topping out in the mid 70s in the afternoon, low to mid 70s. Rain chances remain very low. On Thursday, we're looking at warmer temperatures in in the uh, upper 70s to lower 80s, a little cooler at the coastline, but almost a little taste of summer there. Now on Friday, we do have the chance for some rain showers, especially later in the day. We could be looking at some showers working into the area. Not a lot of moisture for this cold front to work with, but a few showers are possible Friday night into Saturday morning. And then some cooler air arrives for the upcoming weekend, upper 60s to around 70 degrees. Your full forecast can always be be found at WPRI.com. In stories we're working on coming up all new tonight on 12 News, First at Four engineers have developed a new device that helps smartphone users manage their blood pressure. And then at five, the results of the Providence Public School District's yearly survey looking into what challenges the district is facing. And at six, the very latest on the structure collapse in Newport that injured four boys. That and much more in three full hours of 12 News, all starting tonight at four.